earthquake just hit New York City. Who said breakfast needs to be hard? It's just so cool to like see your city in a different light. Three, two, one. having a little girls day today at a place called the bath house it's in williamsburg brooklyn and it's like this spa place where there's like saunas pools thermal rooms and things like that and it was so impromptu because my bestie and i were just supposed to get like lunch and maybe an activity in brooklyn but then i saw this place in williamsburg and i'm like oh my god i've heard so many great things about this why don't we go here and so the only thing we really need to bring is like our bathing suit but they provide like the towels and everything and slippers so i'm excited to go today and just like finally relax a little bit we love a cute little bird coming to say hi These are all the things that I'm taking with me So this is my little body oil from Osea for when I get dry coming out of the pools and things like that Obviously my subway book my airpods my wallet my little girl pouch with a bunch of things that I Carry for emergency like a mini perfume from the company five cents. We got my Vaseline Obviously a portable charger, you know, just like girly things my self-defense weapon And then this is a little PR bag that I made for my bestie because I get so many cool gifts from brands and things like that So I just like give some fun things to my friends from time to time in here. We have a self-defense security alarm I also gave her a little YSL perfume, a bunch of other things, but also like this new CoverGirl skincare foundation, some ColourPop stuff, like small knickknacks and things like that. My sunglasses just from Amazon. I wish I got the Monet sunglasses, but they got sold out, the Monet Desi collab, and then even the restock is, is gone. <laughs> and then a shower cap for when I shower after. <laughs> just hit New York City. I was just, you know, chilling. I was just working on my desk and then suddenly the floor started shaking. And this is how messed up all of this is. A lot of the people didn't even realize that this was a earthquake. First of all, because it doesn't really happen here. But second, because New Yorkers are used to just like pretty bad building, a lot of traffic outside that might be like causing the building to shake. And what I thought it was, was that like my neighbors from upstairs were, you know, jumping or like moving stuff around again because I'm used to that. And then I realized because I saw the news, it was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake that hit New York. How crazy is that? But I figured I'd open some packages while I told you guys about what happened. I couldn't vlog as much yesterday as much as I wanted to just because for privacy reasons, you're not not really allowed to kick your phone into the bathhouse which I completely understand but it was so nice to have some girl time and vent with my bestie we were just like in the water chilling for hours just talking oh my god what the hell Oh my god, there's this hair care brand and I've been wanting to like grow my hair more so this is perfect timing. They sent me so much stuff. This is a brand called Fable and Main. Let's go through it for a second, shall we? A tiger capsule that you put in your tea. And I actually already have this. I put it in my hair yesterday. This is a detangling leave-in conditioner, cooling scalp mud mask, a beautiful hair oil, a post-wash hair oil, and a serum. And what I like about this brand is that they're South Asian so you know that they know what they're talking about. This is a hair mask, a wild ginger purifying scrub. Gosh, they went hard. Conditioner, and then finally a shampoo. And they also had like a sauna that we went into. They had like a steam room. We went into like the cold plunge just to try it out. And we're like, okay, we might as well just do it because we're gonna regret it if we don't. <laughs> And so before we left, we just tried it out and we're like, just we might as well. And it was freezing, but it was like a good plunge. Like I get why people do it now. And we did it twice because we were feeling ballsy. Oh my God, what the hell is this? Hello? From L'Occitane. Oh my God, one of my favorite skincare slash like body brands. Celebrating Earth Month. This is like a milk concentrate body lotion. Another milk concentrate body lotion. It's 97% less packaging weight. So you can refill that. And then this, I also also already have this is their lavender liquid soap and it's a hundred percent recyclable but yeah anyway we went to Jack's wife's Freda after the food was amazing 
we I had like this chicken burger and then we got like gelato and ice cream after and then I had too much where my head started hurting so I had to be rushed home <laughs> I have a full face of makeup on right now and I'm going to the gym but it was not supposed to be like that because I had a birthday party right after I had no time in between to do my makeup and now the birthday party is canceled but I'm still going to the gym Like this is really one of my first times ever coming to this area in Brooklyn and it's just so cool to like see your city in a different light, you know? Well that's where I had my graduation ceremony, Barclay Center. For a pit stop because the Sephora sale is going on right now and I've been eyeing this perfume. first boxing class after over a month and I'm kind of nervous because that's kind of a sport that you have to continuously do to be good at. I wasn't able to do it the past few weeks because I was fasting for Ramadan but now we are finally done with that. For Eid this year, that's the holiday that we celebrate at the end of Ramadan. I did my own Mehdi and the color came out so good and I feel like the design also came out pretty good I was scared that the pigment wasn't gonna show on my skin tone But then it ended up like getting darker and darker over time I put on glamnetic nails for the first time the other day and so far so good I really like the color and the shape of it and they've been staying on pretty nicely But let's see if they actually stay on while I box though with my boxing gloves on But Eid this year was very wholesome, you know, we just spent it with family I wore a little red outfit and we just ate a lot of good food So I was at my parents house for like four or five days hanging out with them And as much as I loved Ramadan, I'm very excited to like get my energy back because I feel like Ramadan this year kind of came around like springtime when seasonal depression is there but kind of fading. So my energy levels this year for Ramadan was so all over the place. Obviously a scoop of vanilla protein. I also want to take an Alani drink for my workout class to get some energy. This is my favorite flavor, the orange energy drink. Tastes like Fanta. But also this girl posted that there was like a rat in it. Like a whole ass rat in the drink. <gasps> So I don't know if that's made up or if that's like a real thing But it's currently before like 8 a.m. on a Friday today and it's pretty cloudy outside So even though the weather is getting so much nicer, it's so warm outside The April showers are definitely kicking in And who said breakfast needs to be hard? The weather's getting nicer so obviously I have to add in my butterfly clips to get my hair out of my face But this is the outfit, I'm pretty sure this sports for us from Target My mom got it, just simple tank top And I'm wearing these Nike joggers that I got pretty long time ago but I forgot about it and I feel like they're perfect for boxing because they're not like yoga pants I feel like no one takes you seriously if you're wearing yoga pants when you're boxing but I have a lot of stuff to clean up when I come back also I've been working on this painting but it's taking me a lot longer than I thought just because I haven't been having as much time the last few weeks this is a better look at my hand my mehdi I love the iridescence on through the boxing usually my press-on nails from other companies come off when I have my gloves on I'm so proud of myself for working out after a whole month that was a pretty heavy workout and I did pretty good might I say and look at the little tulips this bag is all for my mom when I go back home it's full of products that stay at their house that she can use and also that I can use. So we got the hair mask from the other day, the shampoo and conditioner that I unpacked the other day. My mom needs a new sun serum slash sunscreen, so this is from Undefined Co. And she also needs some new mascara, so I gave her one from YSL. And Swede 
beauty. I opened up some more PR. I really like the packaging on this one. It's called Future Wise. This is like a slug bomb if you're really dry. It's like extra moisture. This is from the company Miami Beach Balm for your hair. And also like if you have like body razor burns and you know like body acne, this is good for that. And then a lip gloss from Neen. And they also sent a little mug. Feels very like Vaseline-y. Not his old arm coming out of his shirt. I just showered and washed my hair. My hair feels so nice and silky after using that Fable and Main oil and like scrub and stuff. But right now I'm going out with my friend and we are getting some art supplies because her restaurant, The Monkey King, I literally always rave about her restaurant in brooklyn she's actually hosting like a bangladeshi new year's party which is coming up this weekend and so we need to get supplies for that because i'm doing some of the art for that maybe come back to my apartment to do the art projects and stuff not you like touching everything we have red yellow green blue This is just some of the decor that I worked on last night with my friend and then after that we're gonna go to the store and actually paint on the floors and just make more of the art just come to life so it feels more like 3D and beautiful when you like walk into the restaurant. But this is what it's giving so far. I just paid my student loans and I also did taxes the other day. So it's that type of month so far. I've been listening to like money manifestations on Spotify and it's been actually helping me feel more grateful and just like not scared of money. So I just scheduled three months of student loans ahead of time because that's all you're able to do because if I don't schedule it, then I forget about it and then there's interest on the student loans and you know, it's like a whole ordeal. And then I did my taxes the other day by myself because my dad didn't want to help me this time around he told me that I had to learn which is great because I actually did learn and it forced me to like not be scared and get out of my comfort zone but yeah that's what I'm doing right now on this rainy day in New York but I hope you guys like this video please let me know if you want a more like finance vlog how I like budget how I handle my finances how I just like navigate New York City by myself doing all these things alone for the first time ever so let me know if you want a video on that because I'm definitely learning a lot more on just like money and like finances as like time goes on and as I get older also let me know if you guys like this video make sure to like and subscribe because it helps me so much if you guys want you can follow me on my Instagram and TikTok I post every single day it's at Labyrinth Ab. I also have a podcast called Difficult Dish where you can just hear us talk or watch us talk for an hour straight every single week or on YouTube Apple Spotify wherever you listen to podcasts and you can also check out my website where I sell my art and apparel it's labyrinthab.com and I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.